They, you know, oh, I know a lot of people have had that. Sick. I mean, but not, do you not, know anybody who's had a stroke? No. I, no. I, I, I know two. That two had people. strokes after the vaccine? Two people, yeah. Mm. One guy had a stroke what and happened? two heart attacks. Or no, excuse me, heart attack and two strokes. Were they pretty, Young guy. Were they pretty sure it was related to the vaccine? Yeah, almost immediately afterwards. Like within the first, next uh, four or five days afterwards. Really? Had a heart attack and two strokes. Well, I, I... Do you think that what's happening is that maybe perhaps the vaccine accidentally gets injected into a vein? Is that a possible reaction for some of these like very rare instances where people have these uh, hor horrific side effects? It could be. There, there was a study that just came out basically saying, you know, frankly, reminding people that when you inject... You should aspirate. You got to aspirate a little bit, yeah. make sure you don't get blood back and yeah. and uh, and then be able to, to inject directly into the muscle. Is there a specific site that's more conducive to a straight muscle than to hitting a, a vein or a blood vessel? Or is it just dumb luck? Um you know, when you're injecting into them, you're not, you know, you obviously got big blood vessels around. So obviously right. you have to avoid those within the muscle itself. You may have smaller blood vessels, small veins, small capillaries. And so is it just luck whether or not the vaccine gets into those? Into the blood vessel? Yes. I mean, that would be bad if it, if it got into those. So, you know, you, that you're supposed to aspirate a little bit to not have that happen. It's unusual for it to happen, but I think that there might be something to that. There's a study that just came out, I think, over the last couple of days showing that there may be some concerns about more adverse effects in people who had it injected directly into their bloodstream. Yeah. I mean, it just makes sense, right? Because that study on the spike protein um, that they did at the Salk Institute, I'm yeah. sure you're aware yep. of that. Yep. That showed the spike protein is responsible for the deterioration of blood vessels. Yeah. That, that, that this is, I mean, the SALK, and they were the same ones who, who then think classify this potentially as a vascular yes. disease as yeah. opposed to a respiratory disease for that very reason. They think that there's these, these uh, receptors that are really, you know, predominantly in your blood vessels that do get, you know, that the spike protein is binding to. Yeah. So that's a, that's, that's a concern. And the, obviously your blood is going everywhere in the body, which is why so many organ systems are affected. So do you think that the injection, if it does inadvertently hit a blood vessel or some sort of a vein and, and then it goes straight? straight into that, that it's possible that could be what's going on with people. Yeah. I mean, what you're injecting into the body is, is a, a, um, uh, a signal, a messenger RNA signal that is then telling your muscle cells to make some of the spike protein. Right. And then your body reacts to the spike protein it just made by creating antibodies, these proteins. So you're essentially, the body is the, the vaccine making factory here. Right. You know, if you inject it into the bloodstream, does the muscle even get to make the spike protein? I'm not sure because you need, you need, you need these muscle cells to actually, you know, yeah. get the signal. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, why, why that would cause a problem specifically, but it does seem to, it could be a concern if you're injecting this directly into the bloodstream, which well, is why they have to do it carefully. I never, I haven't had any friends that have been vaccinated that had the nurse aspirate first. Really? Have you? Did the nurse aspirate you first? I, I didn't look. I don't, I don't. You don't I don't look at I don't, I don't like needles. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I turn my eyes. Oh. I, that, that's what you're supposed to do. What are your thoughts about therapeutics? Like specifically the new uh, Merck has a, a new therapeutic that's coming out and Pfizer has a new therapeutic that's coming out and monoclonal antibodies, which are uh, been observed to be very effective. I think, I'm ex I think the uh, therapeutics are... are Potentially really good. I mean, the Merck one, I have not seen any data from the 